Hello everyone, thanks for stopping by and checking out my channel. Now yesterday I made two different videos going over the brand new duplication glitch in Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Now what's funny is that every time I make a new video about this glitch, you guys in the comments let me know that there's a better way to do the glitch. So in today's video I'm going to be showing you the new, new and improved version of the duplication glitch. And this version only takes the push of two buttons. Yes, two buttons, it's extremely simple. You don't have to drop any items on the ground or anything, you don't have to use a bow. It's literally just the push of two buttons. All right, so to do this, you either need a shield with a glider attached to it, that way you can jump and get some airtime, or you can go anywhere just high enough so that you can activate your glider. So I'm gonna stand over here, and activate my glider. So you want to pause the game while you're in midair, then you want to select any item in your inventory that you want to duplicate. It doesn't matter what it is or where it's located at in your inventory. So I'm going to pick uh, this fire-like stone. So I will hold one of them in my inventory. And then you want to press either the Y button and the B button at the same time. Or the Y button and the plus button at the same time. So for the sake of this video, I'm going to push the Y button and the plus button. But it has to be at the same time while you're in midair. So I push that. Then I pick it back up, and then I have two of them. And it didn't take away from anything else in my inventory. With the glitch yesterday, you had to drop things onto the ground, and then they had to appear at the bottom of your inventory. And then if you wanted to duplicate something anywhere in your inventory, it would eat away from the next item in line. So this glitch doesn't do that. So let's say I want to duplicate this silver horn. So normally with the glitch yesterday, it would take away from the next thing in line. So let's go ahead and test that real quick. So I will jump, I will hold this, and then I will press Y and plus at the same time. Pick it back up. Now I have two of these. Now let's go find that silver, ah, right here. It's another silver horn, but uh, it didn't take away from that. So this glitch works with any item anywhere in your inventory, and you can do it as much as you want. You don't have to worry about dropping anything on the ground. So you could literally just get this as high as you wanted it to. So uh, it also works if you have multiples. So let's jump. Let's say I want to duplicate. Let's sort by type and go clear to the bottom. I will duplicate these large Zonite shards. So I will hold all of them. I will press Y and plus at the same time. Then I will press plus again while I'm in midair. Then I will hold more of them. Do it again, Y and plus. Pause it again while I'm in midair. Uh, hold more of them and then do it one more time. I don't know if I got that final one off. But now I have 31. Just like that. It's that simple. So if I want to do it again, jump, hold, Y and plus. Hold, Y and plus, and then hold, Y and plus. So I started with 31, and now I have 46, just like that. It's as simple as pressing two buttons. That's all you have to do. It's This is by far the most convenient and the best glitch there is when it comes to duplicating your resources. Now, unfortunately, you can't do this for weapons. It doesn't quite work the same way, but you can do this glitch with your Zonai devices. So let's go over here. Uh, you have to stand next to a wall or a hill or just anything. You have to stand like one foot away from just whatever it is. So... I'm going to stand next to this wall, stand about a foot away from it. Then let's say you want to duplicate a Zonai device. Say you're low on here, beam emitters. Say I'm building some sort of vehicle and I'm very low on beam emitters and I want to use the beam emitters, but I don't want to go, you know, purchase more of them. So you go to take out device and then you pick as many as you want. And then you press the Y and B or Y and plus again and it dropped three emitters. But if I go in my inventory, I still have three beam emitters. So it duplicated three beam emitters for me. And another cool thing is you can do the same thing for batteries. So I have big batteries here. If I want to duplicate these big batteries, I can just go to a takeout device, 
I could take out 10 of them if I wanted to. So I have 40 in total. So I will press Y and plus. It just took out 10 big batteries. Uh, but I still have 40. So it didn't take away from my, uh, my pool of big batteries. So anytime you're trying to use auto build and you're trying to build just a crazy contraption, maybe you're trying to build a flying vehicle or a battle robot or whatever it may be, you don't have to spend your Zonai devices. You can just duplicate them and you can get yourself a free vehicle and you don't have to worry about burning through your shards. So if you find yourself a big battery like this, you can just duplicate it and then you don't even have to worry about farming your uh, large Zonite and then upgrading your individual battery. You can just slap some of these big batteries onto whatever vehicle you're building and then you're good to go. So a lot of people in my last video were saying that you can't really duplicate bugs or critters or fairies or any of that stuff. Uh, well, I'm here to show you that you can. You just need to do it indoors so that it's a lot easier to grab whatever bug or creature it is that you're setting free. So I'm going to, I'm indoors, I'm just in a regular inn, but it's pretty cramped in here. So I'm going to jump and then I'm going to go to some sort of bug. Uh, let's pick, uh, let's pick this lizard. So I want to duplicate this lizard. I will press Y and plus and then they will fall on the floor. I pick them back up real quick. And now I have four of them, so I will do it again. Okay, Y and plus. And you just have to grab them before they run away. One of them actually got away from me right there. But it's a lot easier if you do it indoors. Actually, no, none of them got away from me. I picked them all up. So let's do the same thing with fairies. So we will do jump. We will hold the fairies. We will hit Y and plus. And then that drop the fairies. You got to pick them up before they disappear. And it looks like one of them got away from me, but now I have seven fairies. So we will do it again. We will hold as many as we can. We will hit Y and plus. Pick up the fairies. Yeah, see a couple of them are getting away. But that's fine because, you know, we can duplicate this as much as we need to. So, oh, no, see, now I still came out positive. I had 10. So it's okay if some of them get away. But it's a lot easier to do it indoors because if we go outdoors and we try it outdoors, we will hold these fairies and then we will do wine plus. The fairies immediately fly away and, you know, they have the open sky. They can escape fairly easily. But if we do it indoors... I find that it's just a little bit easier because they don't have anywhere to go. So we will hold that many, hit Y and plus. I grabbed most of them, and now I have 15 fairies. So yeah, if you're going to do fairies, I would do it indoors. But a uh, fair warning though, that if you do it with fairies, you are basically invincible. I mean, nothing's going to be able to kill you because anytime you get very low on health, the fairy is just going to resurrect you. So if you want to put the game on easy mode and never die, that is how you can uh, duplicate some fairies. So that does it for today's video. If this video helped you out, then please consider giving this video a thumbs up. It's greatly appreciated and it helps me out in the algorithm. Enjoy your new easy duplication glitch. Consider subscribing if you're new here and hit the bell for notifications. That way you guys don't miss out on any future videos. And I will talk to you all in the next video.